Welcome to our newest video series where we're going to be cycling to Mount Fuji and then doing stuff. We're going to be. We because are. Because we are. We're doing it, it right is now. It's our <laughs> situation right now. We are mid. We're very mid. <laughs> we're like half. We're, like, we're four hours away on the four hour ride that's taken us four hours to get there. It seems like we're pedaling on just like a hamster wheel or something. Like I don't we're not we're quite going making the progress. Or extra ground has been covered that wasn't supposed to be covered, but we're making our way. But yeah, what's been fun about this is uh, the GoPro right now is live streaming this. So some of you have already seen this footage because you're watching it live, and some of you will be watching it later. But in 4k <laughs> i think that's like 720p or something but yeah so like if you don't know about it we do about we're doing, we're doing stuff on twitch so like come hang out on twitch is all linked down below and from here i don't know we're not gonna be able to like film and live stream everything all at the same time so i guess like from here maybe the video might just pick up when we get to mount fuji like mm -hmm. the fuji goko area which is like the lakes around mount fuji which is we're planning to explore but uh hopefully it's not too rainy because unfortunately the weather is looking like maybe it will be rainy but uh, you guys will get the hyper jump to find out, and we will have to wait two days. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but I think our, our course for cycling is going to be sunny days. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So once we get near a lake, it's going to come out of the sky. But we're going to have to cycle back, and it just says rain forever on the forecast, so I don't know how we're getting home. <laughs> Buying some bike bags. <laughs> yeah, we could. We could buy bike bags, put it on the, on the train, mm -hmm. I guess. I don't know. It'll be an adventure. So by the time the, they're finished watching the videos, they'll know that as well. They get the, everybody gets to jump forward and find out. I gotta, gotta live wait. this fucking life? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, time warp forward. <laughs> they just not, got the not jump. Not directly to Fuji, but to we, the thing we didn't talk about. To the which ocean. Is the ocean. Yeah, so the path that we're taking is taking us down to Odawara and then back over to Fuji. And there's reasons for it. Just believe us, they're good ones. But one of the big reasons is that we just got to come over and we, we rode our bikes to the ocean yeah, from Tachikawa. It's pretty rad. I was, I was rad. plotting everything out, and then the moment that you talked about the ocean, this look that you got on your face, I was like, okay, that 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 figures out the route we're going to take. I don't have to think anymore. Mm. Um, so yeah, you seemed very excited about coming to the ocean. I haven't calculated how much extra that put on anything. And I think <laughs> I shouldn't, <laughs> um, but yeah, this is very cool. And I definitely feel powerful because I did it. Mm. Like I got to the ocean today. Mm. We've we've totally rented a hotel, but I think I'm just going to sleep here because <laughs> I, could just I lay down don't and sleep. know if I have yeah, much for, left for in me. For realsies. Um, the other thing that's cool is what, as we arrived, the sun was going down. Even now we can still kind of see the shadow of the great Mount Fuji, who we're going to be in Up the close. shadow of to uh, yeah. maybe tomorrow night. But I don't know if we'll see it at the rate we went today. <laughs> I don't know if we'll see Fuji until the following day. <laughs> So how are you feeling? Like you, tell, you, you, can, you, can, you can fill in people on how you're doing. Um, so we started riding at, or we woke up. I got up at eight. Eric got up at 7.30. Um, I think we got out of the house at nine. We started the stream at 9.30. We were at the bakery at 10. We ate our food and started rolling 10 45 11 o'clock so let's say our riding started at 11 we are currently still riding it is 6 30. we did take a short break for lunch and for fika but it, for both of those i felt very like we need to keep moving we need to keep moving so i don't feel like we actually rested like i sat on a stump and i quickly ate some karage and then when we went to get fika I, I stood the entire time like my legs need a fucking break um so let's see 11 to 6 30 that's seven and a half hours of riding and i would say okay let's take off an hour for those two stops and uh so then you're back to six and a half hours of riding, which has happened. 
I think that's because our speed probably isn't the average that Google gives us. We're hauling more weight than just normal riding. I think I can max out at 25 kilometers per hour. I probably average 17, but that depends on if we're uphill, how traffic's doing. Like we've been hitting stoplight situations and gravel and we are about right now 35 minutes, 35 40 minutes, minutes away from, from the hotel. The hotel. Yeah. And my legs just started like shaking. Not painful, it, it, it felt fine, but I just started kind of realizing that your body is telling you, you, you really need to take a hardcore break. You need to have some water, have some food, and let your legs actually not be moving or holding you up. Like, let, I'm, I'm gonna relax the legs even more right now. Oh, stretching them out. So I feel fine. Like, I don't, my body is just built for this kind of endurance or something. Yeah. I don't feel any pain. Mm. I just feel like my body's saying, hey, you're really doing something you never do. Yeah. We've made it to Otawara. How many kilometers do you think this was? Like oh, 70 let's, let's or something like that? This, you I, look I, at the was, timeline? I wanted to timeline it earlier, but uh, I was worried I'd lose my route, so I couldn't do it. So we um, ended up getting to the ocean, and then as we were coming down further down the coast, it got dark. <laughs> so we were riding like in the dark, and it was kind of a bummer. But it wasn't like terrible, it just wasn't like really great. And we ended up just stopping randomly at this ramen restaurant and had a pretty amazing bowl of ramen. But we do think that it might have been like tilted in the flavor of amazing because you've like used all this energy all day while you've been pedaling and it's just like <laughs> anything gets amazing. You know what I mean? You gotta use that internet. Uh, okay, this hotel. All right. Hotel. Yeah, this is a great video material. Wow. We'll, we'll be right back with the, uh, I'm out of things to say. So. We'll be right back with the timeline information. All right, they thought they've got to jump forward again. <laughs> Did you think jumping forward in time? You guys missed a whole minute while Katie looked this up. Yeah, um, <laughs> I had to change the units in my. Uh, what did you change it to? Miles? It, no, it was in miles, oh, weird. or it was in automatic uh -huh. and was giving me miles. All right, so we rode consistently for six hours and eight minutes. Okay. So we thought we were going to be riding for four hours and 13 minutes. If like I take Google at its face. So, I mean, some of it was fuddling around with technology and some of it was like, I, you no, can't no, 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 just... this is movement. Oh, it's this is movement? movement on a bike. Whoa. Yeah. This isn't us just going from point A to point <laughs> B, which is we're at point B. This what is... time is it right now? It's 820 and we left at, we got moving at probably 11. I'd say 10.30 because we had to pedal half an hour to get to that breakfast place or yeah, whatever yeah. we did. So 10.30 basically. Yeah, so six yeah, hours okay. <laughs> and eight minutes of constant bike movement that Google registered as bike. Yeah. And it was 76 kilometers and that was like 40 something in miles for people who want miles. I can convert it and put it on the screen. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I won't change my settings back because yeah, I don't prefer worry about kilometers. It. So, so, Get with it, people. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow, how far do you think we have to ride? Man, you didn't tell me there was more research <laughs> just, to be done. I mean, I'm just saying, like, you just got to press the button and it'll uh, tell you, like, right? You uh, so I just have to put in Yamanaka Ko, which so, is the lake that we're going to. But it won't actually tell me all the way in because it only goes to that one line. So it says four hours on the bike. No big deal. Four hours, 13 minutes. 52 kilometers. So it's actually less, but, but I think it's up. Oh, my God. It's up 1,100 meters. Yeah. Or 1,200 meters. Yikes. So it's 20 kilometers less, but it's like 20 kilometers in oh. the sky. <laughs> it's gonna suck. It's gonna be a hell of a bike ride. Let's see if any of the other routes give less of a incline. No. How could they give less no. of an incline? Think about it, it's up. Place is up, man. There could so be what more, I don't understand. There could be more up in the middle. What I don't understand is we're. Wait, you don't realize <laughs> there could be more up in the middle? We're going to Yamanashi and there's Yamas everywhere. There's the biggest yama. You have the biggest it's yama. The it's the most yama iconic nashi. yama in the, the world. Yama nashi. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Somebody needs to update these names. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Shower time, y'all. Yes. So Katie's got something to say. <laughs> I'm gonna 
had already just told him, and he was like, how come we didn't have the camera going? I, I really don't know if tomorrow is going to be possible for me, like, physically. I... The distance, probably not a problem, but that incline is scary. I, I just... And today, we had a few inclines, and some of them were more than I wanted to do, but you could see the end of it, and I could just push that little bit harder to get there. But I feel like what we're going to end up doing, I'm not going to be able to see the end of it, and I'm going to give up. And you're going to have a KD on the side of the road. It's going to make good footage. <laughs> oh, I really want to weigh our bags. We should ask a very nice man who runs the hotel for a scale. There uh, might be one out there. Speaking There's of the hotel, amenities area. I'm going to do a like a two second review Dude, of the hotel. It's super house. nice. This is this like your Japanese like business hotel. This and is the room. This is like about sixty five bucks. I mean, well, no, I, I'd say like sixty eight bucks. That's a big difference. Um, uh, Eighty six hundred yen mm. is how much we paid for it, and. I haven't even looked in the restroom yet, but this is the Genkan area, which seems like really big. And then there's this little like nook back here for like stuff. <laughs> uh, let's check out. Let us put our bikes inside the hotel, which was very nice. Yeah. Because, you know, we don't want to wake up and those be stolen, but I kind of do because no uphill. <laughs> and I just call the hotel, tell them somebody stole my bike and uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, little room here. Where's the where's the on switch? Oh, here we go. Have you seen this kind of chair? Oh my god, it's on a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't twirl. It doesn't twirl. It does. It's on rollers. You just gotta. You gotta. Who the hell thinks this is worth eight thousand? <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so this is the uh, this is the bathroom, and as you can see, I want to uh, see the bathroom. I want to know what my future is all about. It's not bad. It seems like a really new hotel. Yeah. Like it seems brand new. This is my eyesight, though. By the way, if you're curious what it's like to be me, <laughs> and then if you're really curious, like uh, guys, then we got a problem. Uh, and it's just like you know one of these little guys. Okay. Now it's time for a shower. No more hard truths. So this hotel has got an interesting way of holding this door open. I don't know if I've ever seen this exact solution before, but they've got this little ball and a piece of plastic hooked to a string. And you put this little ball here and now the door doesn't stay, like it doesn't close. Is the ball cheaper than like a nicer door? <laughs> It's like a dog toy or I, whatever. I thought it was like earthquake protection or something when I first saw it. I was like, what on earth is this thing? It looks it like was, an emergency. I thought it was like the uh, balls that they throw at the bank at the robbers. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're riding towards Mount Fuji. So we'll be hopefully making it to the Fujigoko area at a pretty steep incline. A little worried about it. Katie's over here getting some like maps set up. I just needed to keep you realistic. It's moderate hills. Moderate hills. <laughs> it's like a kilometer upwards. <laughs> Over the span of 52. So divide, it's 1 52th <laughs> of, of a kilometer up for every kilometer you go. That's not too bad. Oh God. All right, so we are now on our second day cycling and we are kind of headed up into the mountains but at the same time, we're going down at the moment. <laughs> but this is really beautiful. We uh, have been doing a live stream. It's been going pretty good today, but we're in an area where there's just no signal in the sky. So uh, we're just doing the, the cycling alone thing. And uh, it's been good. Like when we were cycling earlier, you can see Mount Fuji and stuff like in the distance. Can you guys see Fuji? Like Mount Fuji is like right in the background. It's like, it's pretty visible right now. The weather is beautiful today. This is just like supreme cycling stuff. And we're a little worried about cycling up this mountain that we're about to go, because we have an elevation climb of like a kilometer or something, like 1100 meters. <laughs> and we are not cyclists. And we cycled a lot yesterday. So we're hoping this doesn't end in tears, but we're open to the possibility that it might. <laughs> so uh, yeah, how are you feeling about this? Pretty nervous. I, I don't know if stamina is gonna hold out, man. One third of what we're doing today, and 
All right, so we have uh, been chonking it up, I don't know, probably 30 minutes or so, basically a pretty steep incline. And the traffic hasn't been the greatest. It's been a lot of big trucks and stuff. It's not the most pleasant ride, but we've come to this tunnel and there's some room where you can actually, you can see Katie sitting down. She has stopped. This has been what's been going by us over and over, but there hasn't been all this room. So, Katie has said is, uh, she's feeling too twitchy to continue at the moment, so we're taking a break. Kind of hoping that we get a place to stop and have some food at some point, because it'd be nice to have a real break and some snacks. Whew. She just started walking, she's not even talking, she's just going. <laughs> Katie gets into this, like, this, this mode where she just moves, disengages from humanity and goes. I think we're having one of those moments. Down is better, but it still kind of feels like you're pedaling up. Like, <laughs> to be completely honest. It's a little windy, but I don't know. I think my body is just that tired that it just feels like exhausted. Did you drop something? Oh, uh, she lost the USB cable. I can't believe she noticed that. Mount Fuji is up in here, y'all. And we are gonna be up in here, y'all, getting some udon. Or, well, some sort of snacks. Mostly because it's the first thing we've seen to eat. <laughs> oh my God, food is so good when you've exercised. It's so good. Wow, that was really, <laughs> yeah, but it got stuff all over me. Can you give me a napkin? We stopped and we had a pretty decent lunch with uh, just Decent? Some... It was more than decent. It was verbose <laughs> in a good way. It was really, really good. And like, just like after you do exercise, man, just after you do exercise, food is the best. <laughs> like you can could, you could be fed anything, really. And you'd be like, oh, this is actually pretty good. So if it's good, it's like superb. Um, if it's bad, it's like, oh, that was good. But since then, we've been pedaling what it feels like is straight up a hill. And somebody in the Twitch chat was like, oh, you've gone like 80 meters or something. <laughs> like it really hasn't been that far up, but it feels like I've climbed to the top of Fuji. And uh, I know I haven't because I can see it behind us. Uh, but I think we're kind of just honing in on the end because you can see Fuji and hopefully it's not still up to get to the lake. Is the lake up from here? If, if, it, yes, assume yes. If the lake was up from here though, the water would be down. So it must be down from here in a bucket, right? That's how the gravity works. It all depends on where the lip is. <laughs> if you haven't met the lip, then we don't know. You're and I think you don't know where the lip is. <laughs> I just hope it's down. <laughs> Wherever the lips are, I hope they're down. We're in the home stretch of curves, but curves means up. It says we got 300 meters up left. And five kilometers. <laughs> Is that ridiculous? Are you doing the math on that? At this point, any up is kind of ridiculous to me. Yeah, my butt hurts. <laughs> Sometimes take my bike seat, massage my glute. <laughs> Be careful, I don't lose the bike seat. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm being careful. <laughs> <laughs> it's the five o'clock music, which means it's gonna be, it'll be dark when we get there. Yep. This isn't gonna be a fun ride in the dark either. I think we have one hour of riding left. I mean, it'll be dark. Human babies, what? Are you okay? Shit. Your muscles Move are, your bike forward. Your muscles have given out. Here, let me help you. Your legs just lost it, didn't they? Are you okay? Yeah? Okay. Man down. All right, guys, Katie is okay. Like, she's fine, she's not hurt. Um, yeah, I'm fine, but I'm really exhausted. And 
I don't know if the last time you watched, like, had somebody watch you do your life in exhaustion. <laughs> I just, I, I can't really have people watch me do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, so I think what we're gonna do, I know, sorry about this, I know we just got a raid and everything, but um, we're just gonna kind of, we're gonna tune out now, for now. Um, we're gonna chill and uh, we will, uh, we'll make it there. We're not gonna have that problem, but uh, it's just, it's just overwhelming at the moment, a little bit exhausting. Is your leg okay, Katie? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Like, I'm okay, not cool. hurt at all, <laughs> other than being embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So we had a situation where Katie took a small fall. She's okay. <laughs> Just exhausted. And shortly after that, this man came and was like, hey, we can, I can take you up to the top of the hill in my van. <laughs> so this might be... Uh, a bit of a support van situation we've got going on. I don't know if there's going to be room, my dude. All right, so now I'm alone. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to be doing some pedaling over this hill. He said it's like super steep and that it's going to take me e easily 30 minutes to get to the top and then come back down. Katie's muscles are shot, basically. Um, I have a lot of stamina for stuff like this for some reason, so I think I'm going to be all right, but being in the dark is going to suck and uh, there's no way both our bikes were going to fit. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm going to do it and I uh, hope it's okay. <laughs> Whew. So yeah, there we go. So I'm going into Yamanashi Prefecture. The thing that's funny is like, if you think, take away the kanjis, Yamanashi means no mountains. <laughs> In this case, it doesn't mean that, like, that's not what it means. It means, like, mountain pear. But the word nashi can mean no mountains. And gosh, golly, gee whiz, there's some mountains here, y'all. <laughs> so I think this is the, uh, the top of the mountain that I'm on. I think it's going to be downhill from here, and it's only a couple more kilometers. So downhill a couple kilometers is no thang. Ikimash, go! I was totally wrong. Uh, I'm still going up. <laughs> In fact, it looks like it's going to get a lot steeper. <laughs> Ooh, this is hard. Shimmy, shimmy, yam, shimmy, yam, shimmy, yay. Give me the mic, watch so I can take it away. This is looking like it's going to start going down finally. Whoo! Oh, that was hard. So I think I had to bear to my right and hope I don't run into any bears. Oh, so this was a hell of a mountain, guys. That was intense. <sighs> Feels like I'm going the right way. Whew. This should be, oh God, not pedaling and moving. This feels so good. Oh man, there was a sign, a tollgate sign. <laughs> That's not what you want to see on a bicycle. Huh. Okay, now I just got to be safe. Hey ladies in the pace, I call it out to ya. <laughs> All right, Katie should be around here somewhere. It's a hippo or something. There she is. Hey girl. Whew. All right, I made it to the bottom of the hill. And it found a Miss Katie. And then we found this bike. <laughs> if I was using this bike, it would have been okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you think? You think this would have yeah. been better? Man, it's really yellow and orange right here. This light is ugly. Mm. Um, but uh, I kind of, 
I have mixed feelings about what just happened. Like, I could cry because I feel defeated. Um, I feel like I kind of gave up, but I feel like I made the smart decision to not possibly hurt myself. Because you still had 30 minutes going uphill and you rode it. Or did you do any walking? No, I rode. I rode the whole oh, thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you rub it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problems. You know, it was no big. No, it was steep, man. It was steep. So it was first gear, I huffing been and puffing. Walking that Katie, whole thing. I had to turn on girl talk to get the jams going, to keep my pedals going. That, like I feel it like helped. That's one thing that has been missing from this. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think it would have been an hour of walking for me. And then it would have been downhill from there having exerted all of that. And that just is dangerous. It's in the dark. We all know I suck at riding a bike. Like, <laughs> I, I am not a good driver. <laughs> and like, it was really dark. We have good lights, which is good. But it was really dark and- There's cars. There, there, I was going so fast, cars weren't passing me. Oh, okay. It was nerve wracking. It was, it was very fast. I was, I was riding the brakes basically the entire way down to keep myself from like, going too fast. And like you told me your hands were really like, you just My were clammy. My hands were and, wet and, yeah. and, and I just didn't trust them to push the buttons in the way that they needed to push the buttons. So as far as I'm concerned, big ups to that dude for just sensing somehow. He sensed the wall. Yeah, he said that he saw us and decided to turn around, Shimpai. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so he's worried about yeah, us. I told him, thank you. Yeah, and I, I basically, I told him, like, he told us that he would go back up and get me, and I was like, I think I'll be okay, and I was fine, but uh, I don't want to go any further. <laughs> yeah, well, we do actually have to go further to get to the... It's not uh, like, but I think it's thing. flat. Um, and I think we should start making our way there. Okay. Um, yeah. Did you find the hippo? <laughs> there was a hippo. I think it's a, the name of a cafe. Oh, uh, this got no. Come on, it's Japan. There's a hippo somewhere around here. And I want to feel the feet of the watermelon. It says a Kaba bus, so I think that the bus looks like a hippo. Oh, I'm okay with that. I that was hoping be a sweet ride tomorrow. <laughs> if it's gonna rain. Why not ride the Kaba bus? I was hoping for like a hippo statue or something. I haven't seen one. I only saw this bicycle. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Yeah. It is legitimately pitch black here. So I'm cranking the camera to make it look like so you can see stuff. But this is the lake that we have come to. And uh, we'll be hanging out at least tomorrow. I don't know how long we'll be here. But it feels good to have made it to a lake. Even if it's really dark and it's hard to see. And I think in the clouds over here, I think this is Mount Fuji. Side note, it's literally pitch black. Like I can't see my hand. But the camera can see it. Freaking magic. <laughs> Not only can the camera see it in video mode, look at these photos I just got. <laughs> Technology is sick. By the way, yeah, that's a swan boat and it looks humongous. <laughs> Don't tell. It's the men's. <laughs> uh, we've just arrived at our hotel and the lady gave us the lowdown of everything and she said we're the only people staying here, so if we want to onsen together, we can but we've got to do it in the men's. It's a bit weird coming out of the men's room, man. A little bit, but it's generally the exact same thing. Like we have the little baskets. What I don't understand is why there isn't a basket for every hole. This is common. It's common that there isn't baskets for every hole. And that bothers me every time I go in. I'm like, what happened to the baskets? Let's check out the room. Oh, so the process. We could actually talk about this a little bit if we, if, if, yeah. if people are new to this. Um, so some people might come in here and they'll be in their regular clothes like Eric is. In the bedroom, I just took off all my clothes because I didn't want to deal with doing it in here and I put on their um, Ofuro gear. <laughs> and uh, then you come in here, you get undressed, you put your stuff into a basket. You will only go in there with a small towel. We did not bring the small towel and I feel gonna feel real ashamed in front of you without my small towel. Um, Where do girls put the small towel? They hold it, some of them put it on their hair. Oh, dudes hold it over their junk. Oh, like some of them put it around their, their head or they put it around their shoulders or... Man, you got a whole nother world. just hold it, I don't know. I, I carry it around going like, why am I doing this? <laughs> um, and normally you wouldn't bring your own toiletries kind of in here. You'd have things that were 
yours, but I normally not bring our whole bag in here. I would take the few things that I would need, but since we're the only ones here and I don't feel like sorting it out right now, I brought the whole bag in here, but that's kind of abnormal for me. Um, so that's the undressing. Your big towel will stay out here. It feels uncomfortable. I want to be near my so big towel. All you're basically times. you're basically naked from here, and then you'll go into this area. Yeah. And then there. You're gonna take a shower over here. You'll sit on a stool. You'll take your shower. When it gets to cleaning your butt, you'll feel real weird that you're like you're cleaning your butt with all these people around, but you'll do it because you should. Nobody wants butt funk in the old photo. <laughs> um, take a shower over here. I like to take my time and relax, and then you can get into the tub. So you completely clean yourself with this like shower system here, and people just sit. Some people will use this bucket and fill it and pour it over themselves and stuff. I never do that. No, I just I use the shower. Inefficient. Yeah, I just use the shower. Um, for this kind of place that we're at, I would say it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's not it's gross. I don't see any. There's a there's a little mold around the edges. It's really humid in here though, so these yeah, places I are think hard, that's really hard to keep from being moldy. Um, like in some of the tiles have fallen off, but generally it, it feels incredibly clean. Like where my feet are right now, I can't believe somebody got this <laughs> as clean as it feels. So I'm fine with this. Like this is good and I will be happy to take my shower and relax in here for a few minutes, but I wouldn't say it's like mega relaxed. True. It's get the job done and hang out with, with your friend that you never get to onsen with. Yeah, this is the first time we've ever onsen together. I only get to onsen with 50% of the people I know. <laughs> it's true. Today it's 51%. <laughs> yes, and you know what? I would only onsen with the 51%. <laughs> Figured if we showed the bathroom, we should at least show the room a little bit. This is just a normal little ryokan. So it's got tatami floors, and you got to put out your own, <laughs> you got to put out your own beds, uh, futons, and stuff. And that's what Katie's working on now. And we had some like dinner, and I don't know. There's like a couple of amenities. It's all very sim standard for like a like kind of affordable esque <laughs> ryokan cool. with like a fridge and a um, TV, and I don't know. Is there anything else I'm missing? What isn't standard? Standard, is that I have you gotta rearrange this video somehow where you can look behind you <laughs> I have you are just I'm in so, the exact I'm wrong I'm so area. tired man what am I doing this way <laughs> what, like this I've doubled up the futons oh you put two of them down I don't know if you can see it but you have really oh. <laughs> just yeah oh yeah that'll be nice oh god I'm so tired and it's supposed to rain tomorrow and I don't know what we're going to do, but right now I feel like I'm going to sleep until like, I don't know, man, December. <laughs> That's what it feels like. I feel I not tired. About tomorrow. You know, yeah. <laughs> I'm not worried about it at all. <laughs> not at the moment. All right. Uh, uh, good night. That was the epic bike trip down to Fuji. Quite epic. Quite intense. You're going to have to stick around to uh, see how it all pans out for us because there's going to be a few more videos from this trip coming. But you may have noticed a lot of the shots in this were, and we probably explained this a little bit, but a lot of them had like a weird interface with like a map and stuff. That's all from our Twitch channel because we live streamed a big portion of the bike ride down. It's really cool that you can use that live stream footage to create more narrative to a video. I, I think that's awesome. Yeah. That I've always kind of wanted to have us videotaping ourselves a little more live as opposed to like taking a break and making a video and taking a break and making a video. Just so this like going. really just lets us all, allows us to have like that natural banter. It's not like when we turn the camera on, we change into different people. It's more that like, there's just moments that get caught or don't get caught that I feel like, oh, I wish the camera had been on for that. It's, so It creates a challenge in editing, however, because it's a tremendous amount of footage. I have yeah. like hours and hours and hours of stuff to go through and like find pieces and stuff. But I don't care if you get tortured for yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> and just like cutting out all the dead like air where nothing is going on just that process alone is extremely time consuming however if you want to come and see the dead space and dead air in real life and hear me huffing and puffing yeah check us out on twitch down below that's going to be linked in the comments and down in the uh, description and come hang out with us we're trying to build this up over there on twitch and we're going to do more things like this in the future and i basically every sunday morning go out and that's japan time go out and do some live streaming outside that's kind of like my weekly gotta get this thing done thing and we also do some live streams together now and then as well as one tuesday night um this on is all japan, japan time, time yeah. yeah all this <laughs> is japan time where we're watching some of our own old videos back and just checking them out so that's this portion of the twitch please come and hang out promotion thing and if you're not it's into fun. twitch it is fun if you're not in twitch and you're like oh i don't know i feel too old to do twitch you're not too old to twitch i'm an old dude i do twitch it's a good time so don't be afraid of it just come chill there's a chat room you can communicate with us in real time it's really a good time mm. um other things to discuss about the end of this video the there's going to be more coming. It's going to rain on us for like forever. Spoiler alert. Yes. Yeah, definitely. It's a spoiler <laughs> alert. Change change all your plans. Great bike trip weather. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there were there were some uh, boobs in this video that had to be covered up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They were yours. Mine, I would have let them fly. What? You got no. From now on, I demand that you should cover your boobs too. <laughs> it's a quality. Mm. Um, if you want to help us keep making videos like this, the best place to do that is on Patreon. Uh, that's going to be linked down below as well. You get some perks from us. You get early access to the videos. So you can get postcards from us and all that kind of thing. It's like a whole like project that we do over there. Yeah. So true. yeah, <laughs> like just yeah, just just it, jigglies have a peak. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's what keeps everything going here. And um, then there's know. other places to communicate. Uh, Obviously. You could just stick around where you are right now and make comments and ring the bell and let the the bots know that you like this awesome um and then facebook twitter and uh instagram and obviously we already hit the twitch pretty hard so I that's think that it. covers all yeah. the things that's all and the hopefully things. you enjoyed this video and uh, the new content that's coming out of live streaming that's mm -hmm. i think supplementing already good stuff mm -hmm. so yeah and keep your eyes open because we're gonna have more videos from this trip coming pretty soon i just gotta edit them and do them and then upload them and then they're your way. Oh.